What's going on everybody? Welcome to Hidden Heights Farm. I'm Kevin and it is a beautiful day in Oklahoma. The weather is already in the 60s and it's like noon time and I am working on a new project here on the farm. So let me turn around and you can see it. Right here. See this truck? It's a 1990 Chevy one ton and it does have a dump bed on it. We have been looking for a dump truck for a while and I came across this deal and I couldn't turn it down. But it doesn't run and they let water get into the hydraulic system on the dump hoist. So I am working on that right now. So last night I went and fed and there was five turkey eggs. Uh, I went and got the incubator from Dutch. So this weekend my wife is supposed to be posting a video on how to clean out an incubator we've had this incubator for like four or five years and if any of you guys use incubators you know how dirty they can get and it's also good to sanitize them because the bacteria supposedly can affect your hatch rate and that's not good if you don't keep them sanitized so she's gonna do that this weekend she's gonna clean out the uh, incubator for me and sanitize it i don't know what she's gonna use yet but we're ready to get some of these turkey eggs in there and start hatching some turkeys out. All right, guys, let me show you this truck a little bit. So like I said, it's a one ton Chevy, a 90 model. Got a steel flatbed on it with a dump and a gooseneck hitch. This thing will come in really handy here for hauling stuff, picking up rocks. Possibilities are endless with this. I can finally put the kids back to work. All right, guys, let me show you what was the problem with this hydraulic system. I don't have it working yet, but I'm making progress. So they said that they left this cap off right here and water got into the system and hydraulics and water does not mix right. It loosens it up too much to where it's too thin and it doesn't work in the hydraulic cylinders very well so this stuff when i first started draining it, it looked like strawberry milk and i've been flushing it out with regular hydraulic fluid that i had from my tractor that i use for my tractor anyways and this is an electric over hydraulic system with a little button in here for up and down so uh on the motor i'm not getting any fire on my ignition coil and this truck is one year older than my first truck that I got when I was 15. So it has the same exact motor as my first truck had in it. So I kind of grew up working on that truck. It's a 5.7 liter 350. And I know a little bit about it. So hopefully I can get this thing going. I just got back from town, went and got some parts. So I'm going to get busy, guys. All right, guys. So I've been working on this truck all day. Wasting a lot of time. I haven't really got real far on it. I replaced a bunch of parts and still no success. But it's time to go feed and we're going to take a walk out to the barn and see if there's any turkey eggs. So I'm not going to feed the goats as much grain now. Uh, like I said in my last video, the green grass and the weeds are starting to come up and green. And they're eating all day long, grazing all day long now. So I need to start weaning them off the grain so they don't get bloated or scours from eating the grass and the grain. Starting to look really shaggy and they're shedding all their cashmere. 
quit, Daisy. Here, Daisy, you want some eggs? Sure, girl. Come on, Daisy. Let's go. He's always trying to get into something. Alright. So, I stored this hay in here. I'm going to go ahead and feed it to him. We're about done giving him hay for the year since the green grass is coming on, but I don't want it to go to waste, so I'll go ahead and put it out and they can eat it if they want it. If not, they'll just get in there and play with it and spread it out. And it won't be any good for eating after that, so. You have a visitor. Who is it? Kaya. Hi. Kaya May. Hold still, sissy. She had a battle with uh, the cement yesterday. Riding her scooter. Uh huh, and then I fell on the cement. She did a face plant on the cement. Uh huh. I thought hey, she broke her. Yes, there's skeeters. Hey, yes. There's skeeters. <laughs> there's skeeters' nose. You love hey, Daisy? Guys. Huh? You love yeah. Daisy? Yeah, I love her. So does Skeeter. He's like, let me in. When I come in here, Daisy always hugs, kisses me, and hugs. Yeah, hugs she me. likes attention. All right, let's go uh, feed the other goats and see if there's any more turkey eggs. Uh huh. And there's Kevin with his new prize dump truck there. Yeah, we'll see. That don't run. We'll see. Yay! Got it started. All right guys, so the temperature is up in the 60s now and I thought this beehive would be way more active so we came out here to check it out. Everybody's with me, but there's not a lot of activity. I don't know if it's because it's kind of windy or what. It's almost evening time too, so I really need to take the time and get my bee suit on here pretty quick and check out our hives to see how they made it through the winter. Bear's food, quit stealing it. You can only yeah. have one. You little thief. Come on, the Said, Mom, make sure it's 
okay. <laughs> Bear Bear always does that. Oh, you didn't find your food. So guys, you commented, well, you guys obviously said, I know what you should do with that rope. You should make a big jump rope. Okay, bro. And maybe, maybe, yeah, I'm definitely gonna do that. All right, guys, so it's time to collect the eggs. And as soon as my wife, Rachel, gets the incubator cleaned out, we're gonna stick our first batch of turkey eggs in the incubator and see if we can't hatch any. Let's go see how many eggs we have to collect today. I don't know how them bannies keep getting in the turkey pen, but they won't ever get out once they get in there. Can you get it? Yeah, there's still just five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, looks like there's only five. We gotta be very careful with them so we don't break them. Mm -hmm. Oh wait. Hmm. What? Okay, nothing. Come back here, Kaya. Kaya, come back here. Yeah, he's strutting his stuff, isn't he? Listen. Listen. Listen, he's blowing air. Hear that? Uh huh. He went Hear his like chest? Oh, did you guys hear that? All right guys, so it looks like we got five eggs for today. Rachel's gonna clean off the incubator this evening. Uh, you wanna make sure you get all the bacteria sterilized. That way you have a better successful hatch rate. Uh, a lot of times people don't clean them out and the bacteria can penetrate the shells of the eggs and it can actually kill the embryos. Uh, if you guys are always hatching eggs and stuff and you don't have quite good hatch rates, do a little research about sanitizing your incubator before you put the eggs in there and turn that thing on and you might have a better successful hat hatch rate so anyways here's the five eggs we got now uh there's yolk on these eggs so it looks like there was one more possibly that got busted but we're gonna go ahead and clean these up and tomorrow we will start them in the incubator maybe tomorrow we'll have more to put in with them. I might also get online and try to buy some more eggs. We want to raise quite a few more turkeys that way we can just let them free range here on our place. And uh, we got, you know, you're going to lose some here and there. I better be careful and quit talking with my hands or I'm going to throw one here in a minute. So you're probably going to lose some turkeys here and there and some of them might not always stay because we do have wild turkeys in our area. And sometimes when these hens are clucking in the past when we did have turkeys, We've had wild uh, Jake, eastern wild turkeys come here and try to breed our hens. And then some of our hens flew off and left with those wild turkeys. So this time we got the three hens with the tom in this pen. And they're pinned up so they can't get out. Uh, so that's why we want to go ahead and try to raise quite a bit more turkeys and just let them free range. And then if we lose some, no big deal. So let's go get these in the house. All right, come on. 
out there eat. <laughs> Alright guys, today is just a short little video, I didn't have a lot of time because I've been messing with this stupid truck all day long but I just wanted to give you guys an update on the turkey eggs and what we are going to do with them so as soon as she gets this incubator cleaned up she is making a video on how to clean up an incubator so check that out and thank you guys for watching this video if you're not subscribed subscribe hit the like button and we will see you on the next video